Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be doing Act 8.3.2. Shame the devil. Tell the truth. and Shame the devil. You can see the team that I'm going in here with, and you're going to see why I chose who I chose. But I went through the uh, paths, and as you can see here, that stellar striker, it said cosmic. And an aptitude test? We're all set. Those are the two that really are the only things that I had to worry about. So I'm like, Stellar Striker, okay, we got Hercules. Remember in my last video, didn't really use Hercules. In this one, it's a little different. So I brought Hercules, obviously, for the main attacker. I brought Odin because one of Odin's pre-fights is to put an aptitude on you. So that's perfect now that works with anyone else so any of your cosmic champions you could uh use angela which you see me have there if you want to that first one right there gain an indefinite aptitude buff so you can do that for anybody and you'll be able to uh do that path pretty well uh and then five star odin works just fine um, for the pre-fights, and I think maybe a four-star one, but everybody should have a five-star one by now if you're doing this content. All right, so as you can see here, I'm trying to build up, you know, make sure that I get at least the heavy and the um, intercept in, but if I get knocked down, well, that's another feat of strength for Hercules. Just makes him better. Look at that damage. Woo, look at that. <clears throat> And then the stun. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Had to hit him with that striker. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get that uh, special out of him. There we go. Mm. Get him. Let's go. Get him with another striker. Yeah, buddy. Bam. Bam. Nasty. And it's just pretty much that straightforward. Just keep in mind that if you have your favorite uh, cosmic that you want to use, Bring in Odin, put the free pre-fights, and you're golden. But you don't really need the pre-fight. It just makes it go faster. Because if you saw the node, they take much less damage. I think um, they may not take any damage. I, I don't remember. Um, if you don't have an aptitude buff on. So if you don't have an aptitude buff, you're not going to do the damage. But... There is a way to get the aptitude. Um, but I bypassed all of that by just bringing in Odin. So that's what I recommend. That middle path is going to be, in my opinion, the easiest path. But honestly, all three of them are easy. And if you are uh, new, you probably don't even realize this. But three paths is new. I think uh, six paths is what we usually had to deal with on each one of these quests. Now it's three each. So much, much faster to explore. And the difficulty seems to have been toned down quite a bit. Um, but the rewards are still pretty good. They're still pretty good. Um, they're not as high as some people would like them, but they're still pretty good given the difficulty here. Now, against this uh, Namor here, I have to be careful because uh, when he is awakened, and at SIG 200 especially, and you may have noticed I took a little damage, when he attacks, any damage that he has or is taking will get reflected back to you as energy, if I remember correctly. I think that's how that worked. And it's not fun. Uh, if you've ever fought him with Ghost, and we just went for it because I knew I'd be able to take him out. Uh, if you've ever used Ghost against him, sometimes if you, are, if you don't have the timing just right, you get that damage back and he doesn't get any damage at all. So just... Keep that in mind when you're fighting him. 
It's not not a big deal, but it could be a big deal. All right. Now, guillotine. One of the things you want to do with guillotine first is a heavy attack. All right, like that. That puts her uh, digi cloak on cooldown, as you see in that middle um, icon there. Now it's all the way to the right, and you can attack her like you know, normal. And you can see that as soon as it came off cooldown, I hit her with another heavy and put it back on cooldown. That is how you fight her. And there you go, I got the striker in, but I didn't really need to. If I remember correctly, when you hit them with the striker, you get your aptitude buffs. And they are very potent. I think, I forget what it was, 25% more potent? something like that so really the only thing you need to do is go in with a cosmic champion and equip a relic that's it if you have odin then you can start off even when you don't have a relic you'll still be able to do it but everybody should have a relic even if it's a, a little three star one okay especially at this time there's no reason uh, you shouldn't have a relic. Just equip it, and you're good to go. The Odin pre-fights make it a little faster, that's all. Now, I hate fighting Kraven. I really do. Um, but he wasn't a really big problem this time. I want to bait that out because I already know he will wait until... Uh, he gets to a special three if I get him too close to that. All right. Now, right here, I should have hit him with the striker before I did that special two. But as you can see, it don't really matter. Hercules is just that buff. All right. That's all. All right. So we're cruising through this um, path. No real problems yet. Now, we got Ultron. Ultron awakened with a high sig. He's very energy resistant. I'll say that. He heals back a lot of energy. However, Hercules doesn't do energy damage. He does physical. So, I'm not worried about Ultron either. Uh, also, if you don't have a six star, my Hercules is a six star rank five sig 200 ascended but you can do this with a five star just fine okay so if you want to use hercules you can go in here with a five star and you'll be golden okay um really don't even need to have him awakened to be honest with you uh just depends on you if he's awakened, you have a nice little safety net uh, that can save you some items. Now we come to the boss. And I looked over all three of these bosses. Okay. Now, I'm going to actually do a character select because I have a feeling. I got a feeling. Anyway, I have a feeling that I'm going to need it. I don't want to use any items if I can help it. Not really that bothered if i do um now i don't know why i couldn't find who i was looking for but i was like where is she okay so that should give you an idea of who i'm gonna choose among them there we go so the reason that i chose uh, Dermamu, and we'll look at the buffs here. Brute force, you just need to be aggressive. Even punishment, when you uh, stun the attacker, one buff is nullified. Don't matter if you don't get buffs, right? Fight or flight, so you have to watch every 12 seconds. Somebody's getting an unstoppable. And then science champions receive a fury, 125%. So I'm like, okay, so titania and... Spider-Man 2099. They don't get buffs. And what I'm thinking is that if I slow play it with Spider-Man 2099, build up to a special three, I get a slow 
and then I don't have to worry about the um, fight or flight anymore. That's what I'm thinking, all right? Because it is annoying. See? Got the unstoppable, now I got to wait. But there's something I did not anticipate, okay? And you're going to see it in a minute, all right? So I pushed him to a special two, and now I'm trying to bait it out. Now I got the brute force. And now, look at the damage that I took, okay? So the AI being a little bit passive, I start getting the DJ. And I'm like, okay. You know, I was like, it's not a problem, the brute force, but it can be a problem if the AI isn't playing ball, okay? So you're trying to bait out, they're not playing, and now you got a D-Gen on you. So I had to hit him once, and I don't really want to push him to a special two. Look, look, at the, look at the AI. And now, they're unstoppable. I'm like, are you kidding me? So, I fired off my special three. And I'm like, okay, now I shouldn't have to worry about it. He's not hitting me yet. But look at my health. All right, so now, I should be good, right? But I gotta bait this out. Okay, look at this, look at the damage. That's into my block. Now, you saw the 12 seconds were up. He did not get the unstoppable. So this could be a pretty easy fight as long as the AI cooperates. Look at this. I don't want to deal with that special two anymore because it hurts. It hurts into my block and I don't know how to evade it. If you know how to evade the special two, you're golden. It, it, it can be evaded. I just haven't put the time in to learn how to evade it. That's all. Now he got me. He got me with some good licks. And I'm like, okay. Once he hits me with that special uh, two, it's over with. Because I don't know how to evade it. So I'm just like, okay, here we go. Bam, bam. Right into my block. So I'm like, okay, well, I messed up. But that's okay, because I have titanium. But just be warned. If you don't know how to evade that special, it's going to hurt if you block it. Okay, so here we go. And I'm like, yeah, this should be good. I hate when they do that. Do you see what he just did? He just danced away. I'm like, okay, I do my haymaker. Now I can go. And he's like, dash, dash, dash backwards to use up the time. And then got me. And I'm like, you know what? I hope they fix this AI because it's really pissing me off. It really is. All right, see, my haymaker is ready. There we go. But I need to bait that out. He fired his special, of course. Used up my um, haymaker time. All right. And then here we go. This one, he clipped me again. And I'm just trying to get away from him. That was all I was trying to do. So I'm like, all right, fine. We got to a special three. Sloppy as anything. But that's okay. Because his butt is mine now. Oh, yeah. Come on. What what you got? What you got? Get in that corner. Stay in the corner. Huh? What, what, what? Mm. And we're done. So, not the prettiest, but no items, no revives. We're good. Okay? So, anyway, that is going to do it for this walkthrough. Hopefully, it'll help you do your um, initial clear. Um, take care, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about this uh, video. And you all have a blessed day.